to you friend, welcome back to our channel, our topic today is titled, God sent his son, with that said let's start, friend, it is, of course, one thing, to say that you love someone, this is because, talk is cheap, consider this, how many people people profess their love to someone, only to then, do things that very clearly reveal the hollowness of their words, in fact, one writer, says that, human love does not exist, if we mean by love, to care selflessly and deeply for someone else, for instance, John loves Mary, and by that, we mean that John wants Mary to be happy, however, Mary loves Charles not John, now friend, if John truly loves Mary, then, shouldn't he be glad that Mary has found love with Charles and that Charles makes her happy, after all, if love is unselfish, care for someone else, then John, should be glad that Mary has found happiness in Charles, of course, if he loves Mary, as love is commonly understood, then John is going to miserable over the happiness that Mary has found in Charles, in short, human love, is usually full of contradictions, however, when God says, he loves us, what does that mean, and indeed, how has he manifested his love to us, to answer this please friend, read with me, the holy word of God, in the book of, 1 John 4 verses 8 to 10, from this texts, friend, it is clear that the Lord indeed loved is, this is portrayed in his unconditional and unselfish act of sending his own, underline, own, begotten son, to be our ultimate partaker of the painful consequences, sin had brought upon us, as sons and daughters of Adam and Eve, now friend, if I may ask, what was it about God sending his own begotten son for our sins, was that not a great manifestation of his great and immeasurable love upon us, oh yes, friend, that is very true, in that, it is through, Jesus, that we are justified and seen righteous before our holy God, besides, notice, the parallel link between, these verses, in that, it is clear that, God's love for us was prior to our love for him, it was not our love for God, that prompted him to send Jesus, rather it was his love for us, in fact, even if we did not love God, he would have sent his son, this is because, God's love for us was not based on anything, after all, we had nothing to give him, in return, his love transcends ours, and was not dependent on it, God's love is unconditional love, through this we are loved and besides saved, this is because in love abounds all fruits of goodness, this is the reason why God sent his own begotten son to redeem us to him, amen and amen, hope you are blessed with today's lesson, please share to bless others, like if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more blessing content, see you in the next video by God's grace, God bless you all, amen and amen.